The long way home. The road to Sam's uncle's secluded lake house was narrow and treacherous, winding through the dense forests of Vermont. It was a journey Daniel had made countless times with his best friend turned boyfriend over the last five years. Tonight, though, the snow was falling in thick curtains, and the headlights of Daniel's SUV struggled to pierce the darkness. A cheesy Christmas playlist cycled through holiday classics, providing a comforting backdrop to the eerie silence outside. Daniel tapped his fingers on the steering wheel, nodding along to last Christmas. Across from him, Sam reclined in the passenger seat, his long legs stretched out, his boots perched on the dashboard despite Daniel's prior protests. Must you always do that? Daniel asked, his tone somewhere between exasperated and amused. It's tradition. Sam grinned, his eyes bright beneath a messy mop of blonde hair. Besides, we're almost there. Who's going to see? With a playful roll of his eyes, Daniel reached over and swatted Sam's feet down. My car, my rules. Bossy, Sam teased, leaning over to turn up the volume. But you love me. I do, Daniel agreed softly. More than Sam probably knew. The wipers worked overtime to clear the windshield as the snow thickened. Sam sang along, his voice absurdly off-key, until Daniel couldn't help but chuckle. You should have been a rock star, he teased. America's loss. Oh, absolutely. I'd have legions of adoring fans. Daniel shook his head, the fond smile lingering on his lips as he focused back on the road. A heavy silence filled the space between them, interrupted only by the swish of the wipers and Sam's occasional muttered lyrics. So are you nervous? Sam asked suddenly. I mean, you haven't seen your uncle in years, right? The question hung in the air, bringing with it the weight of unspoken concerns. Daniel's relationship with his uncle had always been complicated, even more so since Daniel had come out to him a year earlier and was met with an icy silence on the other end of the phone. Yeah, Daniel admitted. A little. But you're with me, so it'll be okay. Sam's hand slipped across the center console, his fingers lacing through Daniel's. Hey, we've got each other. That's what matters. Yeah, Daniel echoed, his chest tightening with a mix of love and fear. That's what matters. They fell into silence again, the snow swirling around them like a living thing. The road snaked through the dark forest, the trees on either side looming like sentinels. As they rounded a sharp bend, Daniel's grip on the wheel tightened. Slow down a bit, Sam murmured, glancing nervously at the road. It's getting slick. I've got it, Daniel assured him. But even as he said it, a flicker of movement in the darkness made his heart lurch. A massive truck, headlights blazing, barreled around the bend too fast, fishtailing as its tires skidded on the ice. For a split second, everything seemed to freeze. Daniel's world narrowed to the twin beams of light rushing toward them, the shriek of brakes, the metallic screech of impending disaster. Shit! Daniel swerved, yanking the wheel sharply to the right. Time seemed to slow as the truck veered wildly. The SUV spun, tires screaming against the slick pavement, before skidding off the road and careening down the embankment. Daniel's vision blurred as they tumbled, trees whipping past in a blur of green and white, until, crunch, the impact stole the breath from Daniel's lungs. Everything was pain and chaos and then silence. Sam! Daniel choked out, vision swimming. His arm throbbed where it had smashed into the door, but that was nothing compared to the terror flooding his veins as he turned toward the crumpled passenger side. Sam's head was slumped forward, blood trickling down his temple. Panic clawed at Daniel's throat. Sam, wake up. Please. No response. Daniel's hand trembled as he fumbled for his phone, dialing 911 with a desperation that made the numbers blur together. Blood smeared the screen, Sam's blood, and Daniel's stomach twisted violently. Please, please, someone help us, he whispered, his voice breaking. He's not, he's not waking up. 
the world tilted, darkening at the edges, until the distant sound of sirens cut through the haze. Daniel clung to consciousness, his gaze locked on Sam's still form. Stay with me, he pleaded. Please stay. But Sam's chest rose and fell slower, each breath a struggle, a battle he was losing. When the paramedics finally arrived, Daniel was shaking too hard to even speak. They pulled Sam from the wreckage, his body limp and unresponsive. Daniel watched them work, his own injuries forgotten, his entire being focused on that one awful moment. He'll be okay, right? He whispered. The paramedic glanced at him, pity in her eyes. We'll do everything we can. But as they zipped Sam into the body bag, something inside Daniel shattered. The first time it happened again, Daniel thought it was a nightmare. He was back in the car, Sam beside him, the snow falling gently outside. Last Christmas played softly, Sam's boots on the dash, his voice off-key and happy. Must you always do that? Daniel asked automatically, his heart hammering. It was the same. Every detail. He tried to stop it, to change something, anything. But no matter what he did, whether he drove slower or took a different route, the truck always came. The crash always happened. And Sam always died. Again. And again. And again. It was a loop. A hell he couldn't escape and every time he lost Sam all over again. By the 23rd iteration, Daniel was numb. He didn't speak, didn't sing along, didn't argue when Sam put his feet on the dash. He just watched the road, hands tight on the wheel, waiting for the inevitable. Are you okay? Sam asked, concern flickering in his green eyes. No, Daniel whispered voice raw. I'm not. He didn't know how much longer he could take it. The sight of Sam's broken body haunted his every waking moment. His chest felt hollow, his soul worn thin. But tonight, tonight something felt different. Pull over, he said suddenly. What? Sam frowned. Why? Please just pull over. Something in his voice must have convinced him, because Sam nodded slowly. They came to a stop at the side of the road, the headlights casting long shadows over the snow. Daniel turned to him, his heart aching. I love you, he whispered, the words tearing at his throat. I always have. Sam's eyes widened. Danny, I. But whatever he was going to say was lost as Daniel surged forward, kissing him with every ounce of desperation he'd held inside. Sam stiffened, then melted into him, hands tangling in Daniel's hair. I love you too, Sam murmured against his lips. I always. The truck came out of nowhere, its lights a blinding blur. Daniel saw it happen, saw Sam's body crumple beneath it and screamed. And this time he let the darkness take him too, because without Sam there was no point in waking up. The end.